Okay, what do you do when you have to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gifts and you're on a budget? You go thrifting, antiquing, and you try to make it happen. Welcome back to another episode of Laugh Cry DIY. My name is Katie, and I am here with a very special friend, comedian, entrepreneur, and newly betrothed person, Jake. <laughs> Hi! Welcome, Jake. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, quite an honor to be here. Jake, what are we doing today? Today, we're trying to get seven different gifts for all seven of my groomsmen for my wedding for my wedding in May. So Jake gave me a ring because he needed help, and I said, let's go antiquing. Let's go thrifting. Let's try to see if we can curate some cool, interesting groomsmen gifts. And also, Jake himself kind of has a little bit of an antiquing problem, mm -hmm. collecting problem. I buy too much crap, so the the move is to give that crap to my friends as their groomsman gift. I love it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to laugh, cry, DIY. And get some gifts that your friends are probably gonna hate. Oh, they're, yeah, they're <laughs> gonna absolutely hate what I get them. All right, let's do it. Okay, we've actually only been here here for like two seconds. This is a vintage Peloton, essentially. There's a timer on it. So like however many minutes you went, boom, then your casserole's done. Oh, yeah. and this is the speed. $74.99. That's really cool though. Fun find just that we saw in our lives. Aren't you happy Something to think it? about. Take <laughs> me to the river. <laughs> This is like from The Sopranos. <laughs> is that a wrestling belt? Back I, brace? I think this is a like fitness belt, but I don't know what you use it for. That's perfect for a groomsman. Fitness belt. Yeah, this feels like something. Like a gir I wish they had a girdle. That'd be a really good. <laughs> a gentleman's girdle. Gentleman's that's actually girdle. what that's called. We found golf clubs. <laughs> One of my friends is, is quite a good golfer. This is perfect. Just an old bad putter. This is like a very old putter. Oh, cool. It's, it has no, it's just a blunt. <laughs> this is for Dave. Dave, you're getting a new putter. Yes. You're welcome, buddy. We're walking over now. Um, Jake is trying to gift according to personality, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got some high school friends. I've got some finance bros. <laughs> I've got my brother's a photographer, a Vancouver hipster artist. Wow. I've got some comedy improv dudes. He has. He knows men from every walk of life. Oh yeah, <laughs> my group. They're a cross section of American men and Canadian men. Oh wow. My friend Max might love this pillow. <laughs> I mean, and this pillow is like really in really good shape. I think this is gift number two. This is sweet. Not happy Hanukkah. Sweet Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Sweet Hanukkah. That's what all the real Jews. <laughs> Guys, I know this is off topic, but I do just want to say and remind you, these are all um, placemats and things like that. Placemats and dinner napkins can make really fun throw pillows. Like, look at that. Are you kidding? That is the accent pillow for your hallway bench. You're welcome. We are venturing into the place that I never go in thrift stores, which is the men's section. I hope they have bow ties. I like the real bow tie that we can tie. This is a clip on. That's a fake. This is fake. Not a real man's bow tie? No. Gotta be wide. This feels very 90s. Yeah, that's very dad exactly. It says cocktail collection. Oh, oh you like gotta that. have. You gotta get the cocktail collection, baby. Okay, this one has fish. This is Keith Daniels menswear. <gasps> it's a I steel. Love Keith. It's a steel. Look at him. And honestly, this, if anybody knows ties, it's this guy. It's Is it Keith? Is it another Keith? Keith? Oh, thank God. Oh, this this is the carpet at a Hyatt Industrial Ballroom Conference Center. I feel like I had this time. <laughs> are these ducks, or these are like more oh, exotic wait. birds? What are they? These are vultures, I think. Oh, they are. That's actually very disturbing. No, this is perfect. I'm getting this. I wonder who's the vulture in the group. I feel like maybe me. Maybe I'll <laughs> yeah. wear this one. Cute. That's the candy stripe gum from the '90s. I mean. Good tie just for like a regular Tuesday. We're just gonna save the ties and then decide if all yes. the ties are the right decision. We found another one. It's it's what it's a whales, it's wildlife. World Wildlife Foundation. Yeah. If you look really closely, you'll see that this is flying fish of all different colors and they kind of fit together perfectly. That is, this is an interesting design. That one's very cool. Guys, we got too crazy with the mic and we broke it. And this is a constant problem on my channel, which is audio. So bear with us, okay? 
You guys, I have to say in some ways, I'm, I'm not good at this because I'm like, do you guys want war memoirs? Or like baseball history books? Or, or every guy's favorite subject, managerial finance. Leadership for dummies. <gasps> these, are, these are so great for men. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to my friend Greg. What does he do? He runs a company. <gasps> He's an entrepreneur? Yeah, he's gonna love this book. Greg, this is for you. <laughs> Can you please get the Idiot's Guide to Dinosaurs? <laughs> These don't seem accurate anymore. No. Jake, actually, I'd like to get this for you and your fiance. What does it say? Preparing for marriage God's way. Oh, I really like this. I'm gonna bring this. And I'm gonna have my groomsmen read it to me. Guys, something for the ladies. I just think, ha I think giving this to a friend who's dating. Busting out putting your best breasts forward. Let's see what's in there. Best. Oh, it's all like ways to make your boobs look bigger. <laughs> Tricep stretch is one of them. Are you gonna use that for the wedding for yeah. yourself? Oh, I really like this. Bravo. Hey. Whoever wrote this book? It was a man. Because I don't know who Judith Krantz is, but God, do I love this author picture. Okay, these are really cool. We just found, these are all like kind of mini booklets. They are from the 50s and they're single um, kind of subject things. So like delicious leftovers. Yeah, that's I just, a really good one. I just love a vintage, a vintage photography. This is great for my friend Mark, loves candy. 250 ways to make candy. This is bodybuilding dishes for children. <laughs> Body. okay. I want kids to be jacked. <laughs> and you know what this is? This is a casserole with eggs in it. The refrigerated desserts looks a little horrifying. We have entered a new section. Hawaiian shirts, casual shirts, regular shirts. This one kind of screams, like I like to relax, but I can also have a fun time. The pattern I think is just perfect. This I think it's is... great. And Jake told me an incredible story about when he got engaged. When I went to Hawaii to get engaged, my fiance made me a custom Hawaiian shirt with our cat's face all over it. And his cat's name is Taco. Taco and Baguette. Together. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. We've made it to Beer Steins. My friend Eric, who's one of the groomsmen, will really like this. I think my friend Blake may also like it, but I think Eric. Make them fight. Okay, and guys, I gotta get a little, a little bit for myself. For size, it's, it's huge. Ooh. Guys, pineapples. Do you guys know that everyone should have a pineapple in their home? It's a sign of hospitality, but if it's upside down, it's, it's for swingers. Also, guys, Golden Girls, like 1980s Miami planter. Giant clam. I think this might actually be a nice gift for my friend Greg. Really? Giant clam, because he loves clams. I buy too much crap. I'm getting both the pineapple and the clam. That is so good. Okay, guys, if you guys watched my Paris thrifting video, antiquing video, I was in Paris looking for brass candlesticks. They were really cool and ornate for my friend Chelsea. Did not get them there. Guys, these are like super bo- I'm sorry, Chelsea, I might keep these. These are like boho, eye of, eye of the temple peacock, and they are $4.99. If you guys wanted to know about this type of candlestick, it's called a go-to-bed candle. And in Victorian times, you would go and you would blow out like the candles in the sconces around the room, and then you would have this one left over, you know, so that you could be like an old ghost and like go to bed. But it's called a go to bed candle. This does feel old considering the way that this construction is made. This is going to one of the groomsmen. We don't know which one. Possibly my brother. Okay, guys, the most important part of every thrifting adventure is honestly taking a second look and de decluttering the cart. Um, so Jake is reconsidering all the ties. I'm gonna keep two. I'm gonna keep the best ones and the worst ones. Okay, we have um, decluttered, but I do think there's something that Jake might need to wear walking down the aisle. Hug dealer, like, uh, like, like drug dealer, but for hugs. Okay guys, new thrift store, new time. Look at the Golden Girls lounge chair. My grandma has two very similar uh, chairs to those in her backyard. And I love it. It's a bar and it's covered in fur. Fur bar. Fur bar. Yes. Are we doing this? Is this my next DIY? This is it's already sold. Mm -hmm. Damn it. You guys, if you recall, my 
video about thrifting gifts. I had thrifted a tin box that was a vintage Dar box. And this is also a vintage tin Dar, it says Dar, made in England. Um, and these are like cute collectible little tin boxes. It's $3, I like it, but um, do I need it? No, but how cute would it be to make a candle in this? Oh no, this is very stressful. Okay, Jake is buying something and we'll show you what it is in a minute. All right guys, we're back in the car. We went to three or four places. Uh, we got 4,500 things. Are you guys ready for the final groomsman haul? The cornerstone of each of my groomsman gift will be two for each old 1950s cookbooks. 500 salads. What groomsman couldn't benefit from eating more salads? This is 300 beautiful dairy dishes. <laughs> and I like that some of these are in color and they're very, you know, fantastical. By the way, also, if they don't want to cook with them, these are like incredible prints to frame, in my opinion, in a kitchen, like these vintage colorized uh, pieces. They're pretty cool. These are really great. I'm glad I bought 17 of them. 17. So I'll keep a couple and I'll give, so I'll keep three. These are some tins. This one is from Norway? It's Holland. made in Holland. Made in Holland. And I think these are gonna be really good for putting some items into, like a little flask, a tie, pocket square. Um, this is a really beautiful reveal. And you can keep tea, coffee. You can use it afterwards. Guys, don't forget your vessels when you're gifting people. A vessel's half of the gift. This says Public Benefit Boot Company. I mean. The, not nothing says man more than boots. More than a boot tin filled with some stuff. This is leadership for dummies. Anyone in your life, you know, this is a friend of mine is a leader. So let's make sure he's doing it right. Then um, I actually really love this. I want to keep this for myself, but Mountains of California, John Muir. Muir? Muir? Muir. Muir. He has his own trail, so. And then this I'm actually not giving. This is a gift uh, for me and my wife to do together. They're going to be doing that on the honeymoon. Honey, I hope you're ready. A lot of people love puzzles. Two of my groomsmen love puzzles, so I'll have to figure out which she's going to. This is kind of like a cannibal style puzzle because it is got wood in the puzzle and it's okay. made of wood. Very meta, very meta. Cannibals, maybe not the right word. <laughs> Inception? Incep it's very incepted. Incepted. Next, we got five ties. Five different ties. Now, purposefully, I got some good ones and some bad ones. I'm not going to tell you which are which. Yeah, you guys comment below which ones are the good ones, which ones are the bad ones. I feel like <laughs> it's obvious. I think that these are great because when you give somebody a tie, they wonder, do I have to wear this? Yeah, and then they're going to be like, I think I have to wear it to his, like, Pre rehearsal, rehearsal dinner. dinner exactly. And then there's going to be a whole fight and it's going to be a whole, like, it's going to become an awkward Seinfeld episode for up to, you know, 10 years. Of, like, I got to wear the tie now. I got to wear the tie every time I see Jake. That's perfect. perfect. This is... I think a very quintessential groomsman. I should get more of these. Maybe I'll buy some on eBay, I'm not Keep sure. Keep an eye out. But these are just Stein with a cover. So if your beer's overflowing, you close it. It's got a nice, satisfying click. ASMR. Another great gift, casual lounging around before you put your tux on. Also, guys, I think, flip that around, make that a throw pillow and your vacation rental, right? Yeah, That's this, a great pattern. This is a good throw pillow idea. Tree spotting cards. I'm gonna give this to my friend who loves to camp and then- See an example, let's show the people. Sure, that's fine. You could frame these. I mean- Bald cypress. I'm really into framing everything as a print, but it's very cool. Last but not least, this is a go to bed candle holder. Is that what yes, you call it? Yes. This is maybe one of my favorite things. It's a shame to get gifts that I wanna keep. Sadly, we had to leave behind the golf club um, the Hanukkah, Hanukkah pillow, pillow, the seashell the planter, seashell planter, which I said, Jake, maybe, maybe you don't, maybe you're not going to get I do want to get something seashell and I do want to get something pineapple. And that's for the future. Well, thank you so much, Jake. I'm so excited for your groomsmen. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. Guys, comment below. What was your favorite find we found today? You can also comment, what is the worst gift you've ever received because you were in a bridal party? <laughs> For my groomsmen that are watching, um, the amount we spent on this was under $70. Yes, total. That is how much you're worth to me. Well, thank you, Jake, for joining us today. Thank you guys for coming with us. Um, and until next time. Until next time, laugh, cry, and DIY. Hell yeah. <laughs>